You want me to sell directly to you. I don't want you to. You're going to. Why would I do that? Because I'm the only one who's going to buy your block at a premium instead of you flooding the market with shares and ending up getting a discount. It's funny. That's exactly what someone else just told me an hour ago. What? And now I'll tell you what I told him. I'll shut everyone else out, but you two are going to have to go head to head. You're talking about a dark pool bidding war. That's no different than what you were talking about. You just wanted to be the only one bidding. Thanks for the scampi, Mr. Ross. It was delicious. I'll be in touch with the details. Who's the other entity? If you can't figure that out for yourself, I don't think you're likely to come out on top of this whole thing. What the hell do you think you're doing? I think I'm washing my hands, which I'd like to do without you bothering me about whatever bullshit you're here for. Bullshit? We'll see if the SEC thinks it's bullshit that you're buying stock illegally. You're throwing some pretty big accusations around for such a little guy. You think I didn't do my homework? The registered bidder traces back to a shell corporation we used six times last year. We're allowed to play the stock market as much as the next fellow. You think because you're using firm money that makes it legal? Damn right I do because we have no plan to do anything other than keep those shares ourselves. Now who's talking bullshit? What are you gonna do, Mike? You gonna run to the SEC? You think I won't? These aren't your daddy's tapes, Harvey. These are the rules of the game. Then let me dial their number for you. Because if you report us, they'll put a freeze on this sale. And by the time we get it all straightened out, my TRO will be expired, and we'll be right back to where we're headed this afternoon. You're a sore goddamn loser. I would be if I ever lost. See you at six. Guess what piece of shit lawyer just got himself a seat in the Wexler pool. Mike, what are you doing here? What do you mean? The sale's not till six o'clock. Didn't you check your messages? No, why? Columbia University called. Rachel was taken to the hospital. Rachel Zane. Sorry? You have a patient here, Rachel Zane. What room is she in? Uh, Ms. Zane is resting and... Can what room is she in? As I was saying, she can't have any visitors. Look at me. I'm going to ask you one more time. Mike. Right. She's in 1024. You've seen her? It's locked. I don't care. What are you going to do? Are you going to break the door down? Yeah, if I have to. I spoke to her doctors. They said she fainted at school. She's fine. If she fainted, she's not fine. They said she's run down and a little dehydrated, but it's okay. Okay, so then, then why won't they let us see her? Because she's sleeping and she needs it. Mike, she's fine. She's gonna be fine. What are you even doing here? I'm one of her emergency contacts. They call me. Yeah, I know, but... What's a heartless shithead like me doing in a place like this? Yeah, something like that. I would have come for you if you ever worked hard enough to pass out, but you never did. Look, there's a steakhouse across the street. Why don't you and I go get something to eat? I'm, wait, you're going to break the door down and wake her up? No, I'm going to wait outside of it and be there when she does. Yeah, which won't happen for another eight hours because they sedated her to make sure she got some sleep. Now, come on, let's go get some food. Don't you need to be at an auction? Right now, I don't want to be at that sale any more than you do. You're saying you're willing to postpone it? I'm saying I already did. 